This is Dominic. Dominic works at a five-star restaurant called the Pixel Palace. There, some of video games' most popular characters come in to have a drink. Sometimes they share stories and even secrets, for as we all know, what the bartender hears is confidential, isn't it? So I'm sitting there tending bar when in walks someone that just looks like they've seen the light of hell. One of the angry birds. Oh, I mean, this guy just looks destroyed. It looks like he's seen things that I can't even imagine. So I approach him, make him a drink, and he doesn't look like he wants to start a conversation, so I don't say anything. But then he looks at me and he says, what was it all for? I said, beg pardon? He says, the war. What was it all for? And I said, oh, you mean the Angry Bird War, you know, the one going against the beaks and everything. And I drew the conclusion that he must have been a soldier in one of the wars. So I asked him, I said, if you don't mind me asking, I don't know much about the Angry Bird uh, history. Uh, how did all this get started? He said, well, it all started with the eggs. After the eggs were stolen, everything changed. Our country changed. I mean, it was suddenly like, once the eggs disappeared, we could be attacked at any moment. I said, oh, well, well, who took the eggs? Was it the pigs? And he said, no, it was Eggman. I said, the Sonic villain. And he said, that's the same one. And I said, well, wait a minute. I always thought the whole thing was about uh, the pigs. We gotta go after the pigs. He says, that's what the government was leading you to believe. You see, Eggman took the eggs. He took them for himself. And yet, it was the pigs that got all the blame, even though they had nothing to do with it. And I said, well, well that's fascinating. Well, well, why did Eggman take the eggs? And he looks at me and says, his name is Eggman. I guess that shut me up. And I said, well, all right, why did the pigs get involved? And he says, well, the government told us that they were threatening freedom and that they had strong proof that it was the pigs that took the eggs and not Eggman. They even created video footage. They made up lies they played at the beginning of the game, showing everybody in the world that they took the eggs. So, of course, everybody believing it, we launched Home Nest Security. They said that we have to spread bird democracy to them because apparently they were going to enrich the eggs. You know, make them nuclear. Weapons of mass nutrition, they called them. It was an absolute birdemic. And of course, all the birds brought up, well, there's other animals that have bigger eggs, like ostrich eggs. They could hatch at any moment and let loose even more dangerous animals. But they said, no, the pigs, they're the dangerous ones. So, we threw all our birds in, the uh, kamikaze blackbirds, the white birds with the egg bombs, which is kind of strange, we're saving eggs, but we're using them as weapons. But anyway, we went all out and declared war on them pigs. And how many eggs did we find? None. We looked through the ruins and there were no eggs there at all. I mean, think about it. Have you ever, playing that game, ever seen an actual egg? Have you ever retrieved an actual egg? No. You're just killing pigs! Christ, there weren't even any secret kitchens. The leader of the pigs, you know, the one with the crown, we got him and we put him on trial. He tried defending himself, saying that we gave him all the resources he needed to run the place that way. But in the end, they still executed him. It was some good bacon. Some of the best I ever had, he said. Absolutely delicious. But again, he says, what's bacon without eggs? I said, isn't that a little cannibalistic? He shot me a look and I shut up. He said he lost so many good birds in that battle and he just didn't see what the point of it is. And so I said, wow, that's, that's really something. It's quite a history lesson there. So does the war ever look like it's gonna wrap up or you're gonna declare war on the real enemy? He says, no. I said, oh, you finally learned your lesson. And he says, no, we just can't afford it. We're broke, totally broke. That was why we did the tie-in with the movie Rio. I mean, would anybody after seeing that movie honestly attach their name to it unless they were getting a big sum of money? No. We need the moolah. So he looks down, he looks up at me again, and he says, I ask you, what was it for? And I said, eggs. And he said, fucking eggs. And so I said, the yoke's on you! <laughs> he punched me in the face, I think I had that coming. You see a lot of strange things as a bartender. You see a lot of strange things at the Pixel Palace. So, I see a lot of strange things as a bartender at the Pixel Palace. And that ain't no lie.